dude. It is no wonder that California can't keep this exodus, man. People are freaking, property owners are like freaking flocking away from this communist hellhole at a rapid pace, dude. Oh, dude. The latest thing that California's doing that is just terrible. I don't know why anybody would continue to own real estate in California. This uh, inflation uh, relief stimulus package. Have you guys have you guys heard about this thing? Oh my! Ah! Oh, oh! It's so terrible, dude. That's like oh, I don't understand. I mean, like, yeah, it's sunny and stuff, and like, if you're a celebrity, sure, you, you know. You're dropping $40 million to, to live, you know, next to other celebrities or, or what. Now, that all makes sense. But for regular people, people investing in real estate, why do people live there? Why do they do business there? I don't know. Part of our business that we do here at Holton Wise is helping people escape California real estate and get into real estate that actually makes sense. Because every day they're coming out with new legislation that is just terrible for uh, American property owners, California property owners, and just the people of California in this inflation relief stimulus that they just talked about this thing is insane right the cusp of this thing it's gavin newsom signed off on all this jazz right uh unfortunately you guys were unable to repeal him i was really rooting for you guys there uh a little missed opportunity uh and now you got this the inflation relief right they're acknowledging that california is uh too freaking expensive housing not affordable Inflation, sky friggin' high. People are paying like over six bucks a gallon, okay, for gas over there, right? So they're like, yeah, man, we're too expensive, right? So they're like, we're going to help y'all out, though. Don't worry. Are we going to reduce your taxes because we know you're the most overly taxed human beings in the world? No, nah, no, nah, we ain't going to do that. Instead, we're going to continue taxing you like animals, we're going to continue just taking more than 50% of your income, and we're going to keep it all in our government coffers. But, hey, we're going to just ch -ch dish it out to you guys like you're our children, and it's a little allowance. That is what the stimulus uh, inflation relief or the inflation release uh, inflation relief stimulus package is, man. Let's talk about it and why it's horrible for property owners. <laughs> Man, how unaffordable is California? Like, how unaffordable is it to live in the state of California? The median sale price of a single-family home in California broke yet another record in May, placing the prospect of homeownership out of reach for more residents of the Golden State. California Department of Finance data show the median price of a single-family home in May was $898,980, up a significant 1.6% over the previous month and an increase of nearly 10% over the same time last year. With mortgage rates spiking, the required annual income to afford the median-priced home in California is around $180,000, more than twice the state's median household income. According to CalMatters, California last tallied its homeless population in January 2020 and found at least 161,000 people without a roof over their heads on any given night, with the biggest concentration in Los Angeles. The state poured billions of dollars into alleviating homelessness, creating thousands of new shelter beds and housing units. But the housing affordability crisis to which most experts attribute homelessness only worsened as millions lost their jobs and rents skyrocketed. That's why most researchers aren't wondering whether the new homeless numbers will show an increase. The only question is, by how much? Nobody is is really arguing that California real estate isn't unaffordable, right? I, left, right, blue, red. I think everybody's on the same page that California housing is incredibly expensive and, and things are just just wildly expensive out there, right? But here's the thing, right? And that's why uh, what we do here at Holton Wise is we help people leaving California, uh, taking their money out of the state of California and investing it in real estate and things of that nature outside of the state of California because uh, people in California are getting sick and tired of that state, 
uh, just 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 digging their 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 government you know claws into these people's uh, bank accounts, their freedoms, their money, right? Like uh, we've talked about countless uh, countless issues and legislations being passed in California, restricting property owners' uh, rights to sell their homes, uh, giving them extra penalties and taxes if they sell their homes uh, within a couple years because they're flippers, penalizing them. Uh, for leaving their homes vacant because they're afraid of putting tenants in there because if the tenants don't pay the rent, well, guess what? Places in California have multiple-year eviction moratoriums, right? I think California is like one of the only places where there is still COVID eviction moratoriums here in 2022, right? Uh, so you get all these folks I in California who are just having the government just hammer them, hammer them, hammer them. They're the most overtaxed human beings uh, in, in probably the world, uh, definitely in America, right? I mean, sure, if you actually go to, like, a, an actual communist country, it might be a little worse. But, like, eh, it's 2022. Like, you see how California is being ran. Is it really worse? I don't know. That's, that's debatable, right? So with all that said, though, even the crazy Wokies running California have acknowledged it's too expensive in California right now. But their solution, their fix, right, their fix for the people of California is not to stop taking their money. It's not to stop over-regulating their properties. It's not to stop taxing them more than anybody else in the friggin' world. No, what it is is to continue taking everyone's money, but now in the form of $1,000 checks, or I say I wrote it down on the $1,050, $1,050 inflation relief checks, right? Hey, I just took all of your money, all of your private property rights, but don't worry, I'm a good person. Here's your weekly allowance. Here's your weekly allowance. Here's your weekly allowance. That's what they're doing. Seriously? Right? Everything is running away with how expensive it is, right? Housing is becoming more and more and more expensive because California is just hammering and hammering and hammering these property owners. And now these property owners, they, they have no other alternative uh, than to try to pull their properties back on the market or increase the prices, which is causing issues for the tenants, things like that. The whole thing is a mess. It's nonsense, right? It appears they're trying to legislate out private property ownership, and they probably, in my opinion, want to just dole out housing in the same way because, I mean, they're proving it right here because they are literally taking your money and slowly doling it out for you just enough to keep you breathing, to keep you feeding off of the left-wing machine. Looking at tax rates in each state, they vary greatly based on location and income. There are seven states with no income tax which include Wyoming, Washington, Texas, South Dakota, Nevada, Florida, and Alaska. States with a flat income tax include North Carolina at 5.25%, Massachusetts at 5%, Kentucky 5%, New Hampshire at 5%, Illinois at 4.95%, Utah at 4.95%, Colorado 4.55%, Michigan 4.25%, Indiana 3.23%, and Pennsylvania at 3.07%. Jumping to California, which has the highest income tax if you break down the top earners making over $1 million they pay a total of 46.62% or $466,245 in taxes. If you include property and sales taxes, that puts their total tax burden to the government well over 55%, maybe even over 60%. So, if you're one of the people out there, one of the many, many, many people out there uh, who are part of the movement, right? The, the Leaving California movement, the Great California Exodus, all of these things we're starting to see, uh, where people have had enough had enough of the overtaxation, had enough of the overlegislation, had enough of the dramatic, radical left-wing agenda coming in, uh, you know, really just beating up capitalism out there uh, so the government could, again, control everything and just dole it out in little pieces to you. If you're one of those people, 
I think you have found a home here on Holton Wise TV because what we do almost every single day is deal with Californians trying to flee the California market. Maybe not physically. Maybe a lot of you still want to continue to live there for the lifestyle things that are offered, uh, you know, like the weather and the glorious tent cities and amazing homeless populations that are out there. I mean, that's I, I hear the smell of homeless pee in the summer is just exquisite. But maybe that's you, and you still want to live there, though. No, but seriously, like, yeah, I mean, the weather's amazing. And there are some, you know, great lifestyle reasons to live there, right? Politically, it's a mess. Business-wise, it's a mess. But no, I acknowledge uh, that California could be, uh, has a lot of good things going for it, obviously, right? I mean, that's a huge reason why. Uh, it's worth a lot of money as well. The properties are so expensive as well, right? I'd be insane not to acknowledge that. So that was kind of a joke, but business-wise and owning rental properties and things of that nature, it's becoming less and less and less practical for people to do things like that. And we see it every day. People are selling off that stuff, 1030 wanting it, and moving it into more landlord-friendly uh, fiscally responsible real estate investments. Guess what, folks? That is what we do here on Holton Wise TV. We help people just like you invest in affordable properties in markets where it makes sense from a property owner perspective, right? So if you're sick of the government sticking their grubby paws in your pocket where it doesn't belong, you found a home here on Holton Wise TV. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.